A lot of viewers on Sam Fear Squad are also faith-based, uh, and, and obviously uh, the thought process of making a million dollars, for some of them, they've been given this narrative in church that, you know, to be rich, to be wealthy, you know, it's easy for a camel go to the eye of a needle yep. and a rich man to get into heaven. Yep. So a lot of them feel that I shouldn't become wealthy. And yeah. you're, you're, for a large part of your life, you're an atheist. And yeah, since the uh, large part of uh, PHP was a, this pastor named Pastor yeah. Dudley Rutherford, who, who immensely blessed uh, you know, your, your business endeavors, can you talk to us about your faith? Yeah, no question about it. So I remember one time I sat down with Dudley and I said, Dudley, listen, I'm going through this struggle. The same thing you just said right now. I was 24, 25 years old. And I said, man, do I, do I go become a pastor? Do I go do this? What am I supposed to do? I want to serve my purpose the right way. He says, no, he says, God chooses people to go through different endeavors to make their own impact. Yours is business, you stick to business. Go in at the highest level, just remember to not forget and give praise to the man upstairs because without him. So, yeah. you know, to me, I, I think sometimes the, if, you, if you allow the enemy, say the enemy doesn't believe in what you believe in, but the enemy has more resources than you. He can make a bigger impact than you can. Say you got a better vision, say you got a better cause than the enemy does but you don't want to go out there and make money, you can't really make an impact. But if you got the money, yeah. you go work your tail off and you make whatever that number is going to be for you, the 100 grand, a million, 10 million, a billion, whatever the number may be for you that you want to go get, you're able to do more with resources. Simple as that. There's nothing else to it. If you have a great vision, if your cause is solid, if the values and principles you follow as a Christian man is solid, you need resources to grow it. And those resources that we use today is the dollar, it's money. So it's a waste to not use your talents that God's given you to go out there and do something big with it. It's a waste of time if you don't do it. It's almost an insult if you don't do it. Sure. Now going into the next year, 2022, yeah. at the recording of this video, we're still in 21. You know, oftentimes we talk about recreation, you know, uh, getting yourself to the next level in your life. So if somebody's watching this right now and they say, okay, PBD, I want to take my life to the next level, uh, what are some of the basic uh, uh, fundamentals you'd be looking for to recreate themselves so that they can control their cash flow in 2022 because a lot of them were obliterated the last couple of years. They've depending on the government, depending on draining their yeah. 401k, the credit cards, the whole thing. Yeah. How can they make sure they're financially set and squared away for the next year ahead? Yeah, you, you know, everybody goes into a new year and they say, oh, I got big goals. I'm going to do big things. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I always ask the question, what's different about you this year than last year? Tell me. <laughs> and it's always like, well, I'm just more serious. Tell me why. I, I'm just more dedicated. Tell me why. I'm just so committed. Explain to me why, right? The yeah. biggest thing is you don't want to go into a new year being the same person you were. It's almost like going to a party and you haven't seen your friends and family for the last six months, okay? The best compliments your friends and family are going to give you is what? I don't recognize you anymore. Something's changed about you. What's up with your, uh, your walk? The, the words you're using, I'm not accustomed to that. That's a compliment versus people see you six months later. You're the same exact person. You haven't changed at all. Yeah. You're still using the same language. You're still using the same stuff. Everything's still the same. You ain't changing. You want the greatest compliment in the world is where the people close to you say, I don't recognize you anymore. The way you do that, there's a logical side to it. There's an emotional, emotional side to it. The logical side is skill set, having a plan, supporting cast, having the right systems. That's all logical. The emotional side is having the right enemy you know, having the right mission, being clear about the vision, having the strong willpower, you're working on your willpower where typically in 2021, when something bad would happen, you would have a setback, you'd be so weak and out of it for two or three weeks, you know, you lose momentum. In 2022, you're working on your willpower. You have a setback, it's only gonna steal three hours of your day, no more than that. I'm not giving you more than three hours. These are small, subtle things that you have to pay attention to to work on yourself going into a new year. Emotional and logical, but it's gotta be changes where people say, I don't recognize you anymore. That was a killer building block diagram that you share with us. Yeah, the 12 playing. building blocks, yeah. yeah. And by the way, it's, it's been an honor and a pleasure to be mentored by you and coached by you. Go.